Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the basics of probability. But before we start, please remember, this video is intended for people A, who are doing it for the first time, or B, who did it long back, but they don't remember much of it. So this would be a quick and simple refresher for them. Let's get started. What is probability and how do we calculate it? Probability PA of an event A, which can occur in M ways, out of n equally likely opportunities is given by m over n. So we have m chances of success and n total equally likely opportunities that exist. Probability is given by m over n. Important things to remember while talking about probability are that it always ranges between 0 and 1, where 0 implies an impossible event and 1 implies an event which is definite or is 100% certain. Let's get familiar with some of the common terms used while discussing probabilities. So what is sample space? Sample space is the universe for an experiment. So basically all possible outcomes put together form a sample space. So whenever you're performing an experiment, let's say you are tossing a coin and it can either result into a head or a tail. So head and tail put together, two possibilities put together is a sample space. Let's talk about rolling a die. A die has six faces, right? And the one that comes on the top is the one that's taken into account. So the sample space for rolling a die once would be any number from one to six. So all possible outcomes of an experiment form a sample space. So say if you were rolling a die, but your interest was to observe whether you get an even or an odd number. Now a die has numbers from one to six. There could be three possibilities that you get an even number and three possibilities that you get an odd number. Third picture here is nothing but it shows that our outcome of interest is a subset of the sample space. It is one of the possibilities or some of the possibilities. And what is the complement of A? Complement of A, nothing, but you exclude the outcome of interest from the entire sample space, and that leaves you with the complement of A. So put together, it is always probability of an event A, and what you see here is called A prime, or the complement of A. P A and A prime put together is the 100% probability, which equals to one. So if you were to form an equation about PA, you will say PA equals one minus PA prime or complement of A. Let's discuss the rules associated with probabilities now. First of all, we're going to talk about the addition rule. A lot of it becomes easier to understand when you look at it from a set theory perspective and you visualize it using something called as a Venn diagram like this. So what you see here is a sample space in red and there are two outcomes of interest A and B. And as you see these two outcomes are not touching each other, we refer to them as disjoint sets. There is another possibility that these two outcomes might be slightly overlapping and we'll shortly understand these with the help of a simple example. And Whatever area is common or overlapping between the two sets is called A intersection B. The other possibility is A union B. So what is A union B? A union B takes into account whatever is a part of A or a part of B, but it doesn't double count the intersection portion because intersection is common to A and B both. So a union function basically excludes the duplicacy or redundancy. And that's why we've shown that area in dark here. Probability of A union B equals probability of A plus probability of B. And since in this formula so far, we have counted A intersection B twice. So we subtracted this time and we call it minus A intersection B. So the entire formula appears like this. For the functions which do not have anything in common or are disjoint, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. So let us understand whatever we have covered so far with the help of an example. And the example would be 
from a deck of cards. As we all know, a deck of cards has 52 cards. There are four categories, spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And we have 13 cards per category. So let's say if someone asks you, what is the probability that a card drawn at random is a spade? Now you know that there is a total sample space or the total possibilities from a deck of cards is 52 because we have 52 cards. How many spades do we have? That is our outcome of interest. So we have a total of 13 spades. So what is the probability of drawing a spade when you draw a card at random? It is nothing but the outcomes of interest, which is M and in this case is equal to 13 and it is divided by the total sample space, which is nothing but 52. So the probability of drawing a spade when you draw a card at random is nothing but 0.25 or 25%. Let's take another example. What is the probability that a card drawn at random is a spade or a club? Let's go back and try to associate. This is how it can be depicted on a Venn diagram. A card can be either a spade or a club. There is no such card which is a spade and a club at the same time, which means we are talking about a disjoint set in this case. Both the possibilities are equal to 13. We have 13 spades and 13 clubs. So the probability of A or B which are equal in this case is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. And if you calculate it, this comes out to be 50%. Let's take another example. What is the probability that a card drawn at random is a spade or a queen? Now this, if you can see, is an example with some overlap because you will have four queens in a deck you will have 13 spades in a deck, but you will also have a queen of spades, which means you are talking about an intersection kind of a problem where the two sets are overlapping. So how do we go about solving it? Well, probability of A, which says that the card is spade, we already know it's 13 by 52. Probability of event B, that is the card is a queen is four by 52. Now the probability of A intersection B, which is that one card, which is a queen of spades is one by 52. So now if you were to calculate the probability of A union B, we'll have to apply the proper formula where we'll have to input the values like the way we have put above and we get the probability as 16 by 52, which you can calculate 